Hi, this is Aaron at thinkaboutlabs.com and welcome back. Today we're going to pick back up on our sorting layers and make a few adjustments. So the first thing, we're going to go back into our sort layer script and we're going to change it up a little bit. So instead of needing the game object um, that we can attach sorting layers to, we are actually going to create empty game object and attach this script to it so everything beneath that game object gets tagged with the sorting layer name. So let's just update this just a little bit. So let's go ahead and clear all this out. And so we'll still use the sorting layer name so we can tag um, the game object with what sorting layer we want. So the first thing we need to do is we need to um, get each of the sprites um, that are a child of the game object. Um, that this script is attached to. And we do that by for each sprite render sr in get component get components in children because we're going to get all the components within the children sprite render and then once we get all of the sprite renders we need to uh, set those uh, sprites um, sorting layer names to the one we specify And we do that by sr dot get component just singular render sorting layer name is equal to our sorting layer name sort layer name and that's all there is to do it so let's go ahead and save that off we'll go back to our scene now if we go back to our sprite we can go look at the sorting layers. We have background, midground, player, and foreground. So what we need to do is create four empty game objects and name them just as our layers are, or to represent anyway. So I'm doing uh, underscore um, background, and then underscore midground. This will make sense in just a second. Uh, create another empty. And then player, underscore player. And then create empty, F2, underscore foreground. So now let's go to our scripts and let's drop the sort layer script on each of the empty game objects. So for our background, it's asking for a sort layer name. We're going to give it background. I'm going to go ahead and zero these out while we're here. It doesn't really matter, but um, midground. And that layer name is midground. Player. And this is player and then foreground. So what this is going to do for us is on our player level, we're going to grab all of the player stuff and drag it in the player empty game object. So the empty game object underscore player is tagged with the sort layer name player. So you can see the tile right now is setting on the default layer. On runtime, when we play this, it's going to be updated to the player sorting layer. Um, this is going to make things much easier moving forward because we'll be able to just drag and drop objects inside of these empty game objects and they'll automatically be updated with the correct sort sorting layer. 
and it also helps in keeping your scene organized. Hope this little tip helps, and I will see you in the next video. Till then.